Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft is working on a couple of new buttons for the File Explorer's homepage, which was once again spotted by Phantom of Earth on X. And this has been spotted in early preview builds in the Insider program, where File Explorer Home will soon show a few extra buttons for files that are hovered over or selected in Recent Favorites and Shared, Open File Location, Ask Copilot, and More Actions, which is the three-dotted button that just opens the context menu. So basically what this means, just to kind of summarize all of this, all those buttons will appear when you hover the cursor over a file, which basically saves you a click. Because in the File Explorer in the stable version, you can access those commands by right-clicking a file, where with this, all you have to do is hover the cursor over a file instead of right-clicking. Now, although this could be a move in the right direction and a useful change, I'm going to ask the question, why is Microsoft focusing on small random improvements when there is still a glaring, no pun intended, issue in the stable version when you use dark mode for File Explorer when opening new tabs. So as you can see, white flashbang, white flashbang. And I've spoken about this numerous times on the channel. And that is a bug that's been in Windows 11 basically since day one. And Microsoft still has not fixed it, although there are numerous reports and user feedback to Microsoft regarding the issue. So having this new functionality is all good and okay, but I still feel at the end of the day, Microsoft should be working on stabilizing the performance, which is not up to par in File Explorer, and especially this white flashbang when you're opening up new tabs. I think that needs to be fixed before Microsoft tries to push new features into File Explorer. Just makes sense to me. Get the foundation right before you work on the frills. But nonetheless, for some strange reason, it seems that that's the way Microsoft wants to do things. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.